I am Maria Chada Leon, the orchestrator of Shadows in the Realm, where the illicit trade of drugs intertwines with the nefarious underworld of human trafficking. With 13 children, my legacy is not only one of blood and lineage, but also of power and dominance, leading a web of influence that spans borders and transcends legality. Among my offspring, Danny Clever Leon stands as a martyr, a casualty in the clandestine warfare we wage. His death summoned me across borders, both physical and legal, to honor him where legends rest, a journey that bore witness to the lengths I would go to protect my own. My dominion is not built solely on structures of brick and mortar, but on the intricate connections that bind us together, like strands in a spider's web. From the fortified fortress of Drew Street, I ruled with an iron fist, turning chaos into order and fear into loyalty, cultivating a sanctuary for those who pledged allegiance to my cause. Yet, even the most impenetrable fortresses are vulnerable to the relentless onslaught of law enforcement. When the LAPD stormed our stronghold, they unearthed our shrine to the patron saint of narco-trafficking, a testament to our unwavering devotion, even in the face of imminent danger. My exodus from Los Angeles was not a retreat, but a strategic maneuver, a calculated ballet choreographed amidst the shadows of Mexicali. There, on the precipice of the border, I sought refuge and devised new strategies, navigating the treacherous waters, where legality bends to necessity, where survival hinges on cunning and deception. The call for a special job was not just about crossing borders, it was a display of dominance, a showcase of my power and influence. Through whispers and wiretaps, my network expanded, weaving a tapestry of intrigue and deceit. Alvarez Marquez, a pawn in my game, fell victim to the relentless pursuit of justice. His guilty plea was but a footnote in the saga of my legacy, a testament to the lengths I would go to protect what's mine. As my empire crumbled and my reign came to an end, I find myself serving an eight-year sentence in a federal prison, a captive queen in a kingdom of shadows. Yet, even behind bars, my influence lingers, a reminder of the indomitable spirit that once ruled the streets of Los Angeles. The funeral procession for my fallen son bore witness to my resilience, my defiance in the face of adversity. Clad in black, a picture of Danny emblazoned on my chest, I stood tall amidst the mourners, a testament to the enduring legacy of Maria Chada Leon, the queen of the underworld. In the aftermath of Alvarez Marquez's downfall, the echoes of our once mighty empire reverberated through the corridors of power, a stark reminder of the tenuous balance between dominance and downfall. His attorney's silence spoke volumes, a tacit acknowledgement of the futility of defending the indefensible. The transcripts of the wiretaps, a voyeuristic glimpse into our clandestine world, painted a vivid portrait of our operations. Alvarez Marquez's negotiations with criminals and coyotes revealed the intricate web of deceit and desperation that fueled our enterprise. From smuggling Chinese immigrants to exploiting the vulnerabilities of the desperate, every transaction was a testament to the ruthlessness of our pursuit of power. But even as federal authorities closed in, my resolve remained unshaken. Behind bars, I remained a formidable force, commanding loyalty and respect from allies and adversaries alike. My incarceration was not a defeat, but a temporary setback, a necessary sacrifice in the eternal struggle for supremacy. As the city raised the remnants of our compound, erasing the physical vestiges of our reign, the legacy of Maria Chada Leon endured. In the shadows of Drew Street, whispered tales of our exploits lingered, a cautionary tale of ambition and excess. And so, as I languished in confinement, awaiting my eventual release, I knew that my story was far from over. For even in captivity, I remained the queen spider of the underworld, weaving my web of influence and intrigue, biding my time until the moment was right for my triumphant return. Behind the cold bars of my confinement, my mind remained a tempest of plans and schemes, a testament to the indomitable spirit that had propelled me to the zenith of underworld power. Each day, I strategized, honing my alliances and sharpening my resolve, knowing that my time would come again. 
Meanwhile, on the streets of Los Angeles, the echoes of our downfall reverberated, a cautionary tale of the perils of hubris and ambition. The void left by our absence was quickly filled by new contenders, eager to stake their claim to the throne of the underworld. But none could match the cunning and ruthlessness that had defined my reign. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, I watched from my cell as the world outside continued to evolve. The warlike sounds that had once echoed through the streets of Drew Street faded into memory, replaced by an uneasy calm. But beneath the surface, I knew that the embers of our empire still smoldered, waiting to be reignited. For in the world of crime and corruption, power was not inherited, but seized and wielded with ironclad determination. And so, as I counted down the days until my liberation, I vowed to reclaim my rightful place at the helm of the underworld, to once again weave my web of influence and dominance, and to prove to the world that Maria Chadon Leon was not just a name, but a force to be reckoned with. Upon my release from the confines of the federal prison, I emerged like a phoenix from the ashes, ready to reclaim what was rightfully mine. The world outside may have changed, but my resolve remained unyielding, fueled by the memory of past triumphs and the knowledge that my reign was far from over. With each step I took on the streets of Los Angeles, I could feel the pulse of the city, a rhythm that resonated with the whispers of my name. The shadows welcomed me back like an old friend, embracing me in their comforting embrace as I navigated the familiar alleys and avenues that had once been my domain. But I knew that reclaiming my throne would not be easy, New challengers had emerged in my absence, hungry for power and eager to carve out their own territories in the ever-shifting landscape of the underworld. Yet, I welcomed the challenge, for it was adversity that had forged me into the formidable force that I was. With each passing day, I gathered my allies and marshaled my resources, laying the groundwork for my triumphant return. The streets buzzed with anticipation, a palpable tension that hung in the air like a storm on the horizon. And when the time finally came, I struck with the precision of a viper, reclaiming my place at the head of the table with a ferocity that left no doubt as to who was the true ruler of the underworld. From the fortified fortress of Drew Street to the darkest corners of Mexicali, my influence spread like wildfire, igniting fear and respect in equal measure. For I was Maria Chada Leon, the Queen Spider of the Underworld, and my reign had only just begun. As I settled back into my throne, I surveyed the sprawling kingdom I had once ruled with an iron fist. The streets of Los Angeles were alive with the whispers of my return, a testament to the enduring legacy of Maria Chada Leon. From the shadowy alleys of Drew Street to the bustling markets of Mexicali, my influence stretched far and wide, weaving a web of power and entry that ensnared all who dared to challenge me. But with power came enemies, and I knew that my reign would be constantly tested by those who sought to usurp my throne. Rival gangs and ambitious upstarts lurked in the shadows, waiting for any sign of weakness to pounce upon. Yet, I was no stranger to adversity. I had clawed my way to the top through blood and sweat, and I would not relinquish my grip on power so easily. With a keen eye and a ruthless hand, I dispatched my enemies with precision, sending a clear message to all who dared to oppose me. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, my grip on the underworld tightened, solidifying my status as the undisputed queen of the streets. The city was mine to command, and none dared to challenge my authority. But even as I reveled in my triumphs, I knew that the world of crime was ever-changing, and new challenges would always arise. Yet, I welcomed the chaos, for it was in the midst of turmoil that true power was forged. The call for a special job was not just about crossing borders, it was a display of dominance, a showcase of my power and influence. Through whispers and wiretaps, my network expanded, weaving a tapestry of intrigue and deceit. Alvarez Marquez, a pawn in my game, fell victim to the relentless pursuit of justice. His guilty plea was but a footnote in the saga of my legacy, a testament to the lengths I would go to protect what's mine. As my empire crumbled and my reign came to an end, 
I find myself serving an eight-year sentence in a federal prison, a captive queen in a kingdom of shadows. Yet, even behind bars, my influence lingers, a reminder of the indomitable spirit that once ruled the streets of Los Angeles. The funeral procession, for my fallen son, bore witness to my resilience, my defiance in the face of adversity. Clad in black, a picture of Danny emblazoned on my chest, I stood tall amidst the mourners, a testament to the enduring legacy of Maria Chata Leon, the queen of the underworld. In the aftermath of Alvarez Marquez's downfall, the echoes of our once mighty empire reverberated through the corridors of power, a stark reminder of the tenuous balance between dominance and downfall. His attorney's silence spoke volumes, a tacit acknowledgement of the futility of defending the indefensible. The transcripts of the wiretaps, a voyeuristic glimpse into our clandestine world, painted a vivid portrait of our operations. Alvarez Marquez's negotiations with criminals and coyotes revealed the intricate web of deceit and desperation that fueled our enterprise. 